All right, so the reason why I'm going to respond to this comment, well, half of this comment, because the other statement about Sean Porter is slightly true. Uh, Sean Porter lost to all the top 147 pounders that he fought, with the exception of Danny Garcia. Now, I rated Danny Garcia as a top welterweight because of what Danny accomplished before he moved up to the welterweight division. So, with, with this guy here that that's, that left this comment in my comment section is trying to do is diminish what Errol Spence has accomplished by degrading the fighters that he fought. Okay, Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia, you know, when he was at the junior welterweight division, had beat damn near everybody. He beat the machine, the guy that everybody was supposedly afraid of, and Lucas Matiste. He was actually the underdog going into that fight, and he ended up beating the crap out of Lucas Matiste. And so he moved up. Of course, he wasn't accomplished at the welterweight division. It's like if Floyd Mayweather would have moved up to the middleweight division and fought Golovkin, and if Golovkin would have beat Floyd, I don't think anybody would have been talking about what Floyd hadn't accomplished at the middleweight division. I think people will be celebrating more than trying to nitpick what Floyd Mayweather hadn't accomplished. And so this is what you're seeing. This guy is doing nothing but nitpicking to try and uh, uh, diminish what Errol Spence has accomplished by degrading his opponents. Okay? So, in other words, he's exposing himself as being a hypocrite Notice that he does not have that same energy for Canelo Alvarez beating Jamel Charlo, nor does he have that energy for Lomachenko beating Guillermo Rigondeaux, nor does he have that energy for Gennady Golovkin beating Kell Brook. Jamel Charlo hasn't done anything at the super middleweight division because he's never been there before he fought Canelo. Guillermo Rigondeaux has never done anything at the lightweight division because he's never been there before he fought Lomachenko. Kell Brook has never done any, hasn't done anything at the middleweight division because he's never been there before he fought Gennady Golovkin. But this guy, he credits Canelo Alvarez for beating Jamel, and he credits Lomachenko for beating Guillermo Rigondeaux, and he credits Gennady Golovkin for beating Kell Brook.